Hello and welcome to Excel-Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Learn everything about Excel. All right, uh, today I want to show you a technique for copying a chart and putting it in the same worksheet but giving it a new data reference. So right now you'll see if I click on this chart, it is referencing the data over in cells B2 through B4. Um, and uh, a lot of people will come and copy the chart, do control C and paste the chart. And you'll notice that it continues to reference the same data set. Now I think Excel maybe wanted you to say, hey, I'd like to do that, but maybe make a different version of it, maybe black and white, different colors, I'm not quite sure. Um, or maybe create a chart of that, but then change it up to a different type of chart. Like say you have it this way and you want to make a pie chart of it after that. So not quite sure uh, that's uh, what the use case was, probably just making those different types of charts. But um, users will also come in and say they'd like to highlight the whole range, do control C to copy, come down in another area and do control V to paste. Now look, when I click on the new chart, it is still referencing the original data set. So if I change something here, it changes both charts. Not what I'm looking for. I want a new chart and I want new data set because I want to change this from April to May. It's a new month. I want it all on the same worksheet. How do I go about doing that? All right, so what you need to do, it's just three simple little tasks is first you need to go down to the very bottom of your worksheet and you see you've got these worksheet tabs so it says sheet one sheet two sheet three you need to right click on it and do move or copy you will then see this dialog box move or copy and you want to just click on create a copy click on ok and you'll see you'll have a new sheet two let's go over to uh, sheet two and you will see we've got a whole new data range we have uh, a new chart and if i click on this one you'll see it's sheet one and it has two in parentheses it is a new chart sheet or an, I'm sorry a new worksheet tab within the workbook and it is referencing a whole new range now to get this back onto the previous sheet one worksheet tab I need to highlight the entire range and I need to either go up to my home ribbon and do cut I can do control X I can right click and do cut and I'm now going to take that whole range go over to sheet one find the area that I'd like to paste the data and chart, right click and do either paste um, uh, or do control V or go up to your home ribbon and do your paste button. Um, now you can see if I click on this new chart, it is referencing the new range of data and I can come in and change this to May um, for all of my data sets. Um, and uh, change this here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do that. Change this to May and change it to May. And I now have a new data range that I can create uh, my chart from. Now, one caveat. Let me undo all of this so you can see this in effect. If I go back to chart sheet, uh, the worksheet chart, uh, the worksheet tab, uh, sheet one brackets two. If I come in here and I copy this, so I'm not doing a co cut, I'm actually doing a copy, and I go back to sheet one and right click and let's go ahead and do paste. You'll notice as I click on this new chart, it is still referencing that worksheet of sheet one bracket two. So you must use the cut function uh, because changing these data points over here will not change this one. You have to change them over on sheet two. So use cut, do not use copy. And then finally, make sure you highlight the entire range of data and your chart. So go, I usually go around it outside of it when doing that um, to make sure that when I am doing it, um, I get the entire chart and data set within there. So once again, uh, this is Steve Equals True. Please head on over to my blog at excel boardtemplates.com to learn other great tips and tricks. Please also subscribe to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.